Did you know that you can have your undried dark circles and bags fixed for many, many years, as permanent as permanent gets, with no external incisions, no scars, and in less than an hour in my office? It sounds too good to be true, but it is true, and it's something that I do a lot. So I'm going to take you through this, and we're going to teach you all about a scarless approach to the lower eyelid that is basically permanent, semi-permanent. So let's take a look. This approach works whether or not fillers have worked for you in the past and whether or not um, you're a filler candidate. So this patient, lovely young lady, she flew in from Texas from her under, for her under eyes to be treated. And what you see here is she does have a tear trough, which is the depression right here at the orbital rim, at the eye bone. But she also has a prominent fat bag, especially on this side, but really on both sides. And with that prominent fat bag, she is not a good tear trough filler candidate. You could fill this in, but it's not going to look pretty. It's going to look like one big bag that runs from here to there. So instead, what we do scarlessly from behind the eyelid is we remove the excess fat here and using her own body fat, build up this area. So we have a permanent fill with non-jelly-like, non-boggy living tissue. And here is the picture she sent me back from home. There is a perfect contour here. No bag in this area, no depression in that area. We're going to look at some more examples and do some more teaching. So if we look at this patient, she had been getting tear trough filler with success for many years. And that's because she only had a tear trough at the beginning, which was the emptiness down here. Well, over the years, filler tends to do this. It has become kind of boggy and weird. And we could reverse it and refill it. But when we reverse her, we now see that there is a true bag of fat that has developed over the years. And so she, over the years, is no longer a filler candidate. Even though we reversed her boggy and weird filler down here, we can't just come back in and fill this area up. It's not going to look right. Her skin is thin, and uh, it'll show the filler. It'll show the color. The bag's not really going to go away. So what do we do instead? We do a scarless lower blepharoplasty less than an hour in the office under sedation. You don't feel anything. You don't know anything. And we transform failed filler back to native normal conditions and then fix it once and for all. So let's talk about how we do this. If you look at the aesthetic of a youthful lid, this is my wife Avni when she was about 30 years old and her lids still pretty much look like this if you know her. The youthful lid is short. It has a short distance from the lash line down to the bottom of the eyelid. It's short and the highlight, the brightest spot in the area is right at the orbital rim. So there's no bag of fat, there's a beautiful highlight at the orbital rim, and there's no tear trough, and then there's minimal skin wrinkling. So that's what we were looking for in a youthful lower lid. If we look at another youthful lower lid, you'll see the same thing, short distance, bright highlight at the orbital rim. That's what we're looking for. Now we look at an aged lower lid, and you'll start to see there's the fat bag prolapsing or pseudo herniating out. Here is the tear trough that's forming. And again, this person can't be treated with tear trough filler because their skin is too loose and there's too much of a fat bag. And instead of this bright, beautiful prominence at the orbital rim, she's now got a dark shadow. So people call this a dark circle, and they say it makes them look tired when they're not tired. How do we treat that? When we look in the side view of what's really going on, the eyelid fat has bulged forward, and the fat that should be cushioning the eye rim bone, the orbital rim, has faded. And so we get this kind of double contour. Ba bump, ba bump, right there. All right, so the way we treat that is by from behind the eyelid, scarlessly, painlessly, while you don't feel it, you don't remember it, you're sedated, we remove the excess baggy fat portion. So that bubble goes away. And then we take fat from somewhere else, usually belly or outer thighs, fat that is really good and metabolically durable. And we build up the emptiness there. So what used to be a bubble is gone and what used to be an emptiness is filled. And when we do that, we get a much better lower lid shape. So if we look at this from side view, you see the same thing. Here's the bulging of the lower lid right up in here, right there. Well, come on, green, become green. No, it's not gonna be green. And there's the flatness. So if we look at our own side view here, bulging there, emptiness there. When we have her treated, now you'll see that the bulging is gone, the emptiness is built forward, 
and you can even see if you look at the distance from the front of her cheek to the tip of her nose and compare that in these two views, look at that. It's cut in half. It even makes her nose look smaller because when I do lower lids, I'm doing the entire mid-face area as a part of the lower lid. Can you see that? Look at that distance change from there to there. It's crazy, right? So where do we do? Where it's red, we remove. Where it's green, we add. So here's the patient we've been looking at in her example. And if we look at this, you'll see that the fat bag is treated, the emptiness is treated, and I've also used a laser to tighten the overlying skin. And she, too, now has a short lower lid with a highlight at the orbital bone. This is exactly what we're trying to create. Now, she also had a brow lift, so that's why her brows look better. But the, the lower lid, I treated exactly as described, taking out the fat bag from this area, building up the emptiness in that area, and lasering the entire overlying skin to shrink wrap it and improve the skin texture. So here's her original before, here's her after, and this is that young lid we looked at before. And I just want you to contrast her after shape with the young lid shape, and they are very similar. So this is not a tight stretched look. This is a truly young look, beautiful highlight right where it's supposed to be, absence of bag, absence of wrinkles. We combine this a lot with other eye area surgery. So this patient also had her upper lid skin excess removed. And we did a subtle but meaningful brow lift on her. She looks straight across and a little bit angry in this photo. And here she's got a much more feminine, much more soft, much more approachable countenance. And it's from the lower lid surgery, just as described, fat bag out, tear trough filled. It's all done scarlessly. Upper lids treated, brow treated. Can't see a scar on her. She looks really good. Um, and we do this again in the office. The lower lids take about 40 minutes. The upper lids take about half an hour. The brow lift takes less than an hour. So altogether, this is about a two hour procedure done under deep sedation. She didn't feel it. She didn't remember it completely in the office. And uh, it's actually great. Every person is unique though. So this patient <clears throat> has much more fullness than tear trough emptiness. And the beautiful thing about this approach is that I can modify it based on your needs. Sometimes one person has an eye that's really puffy and the other eye is really empty. Well, it really doesn't matter. I can do the right thing for the right eye as needed. If we look at some uh, another example, same thing. Lots of wrinkling, lots of emptiness. So this one was more puffiness. This one was more emptiness, but they both end up with beautiful lower lids. This patient also had other facial services performed. Now, if you want to know about the healing process, this is Gina. If you have surgery with us, Gina is going to be one of your best friends. She is our preoperative coordinator. Um, Gina had tear trough filler for years, and it was just starting to get to the point where it was just looking worn out, and it wasn't the right option. So we went ahead and reversed Gina. So this is about 24 hours after we reversed her filler. You can see her actual shapes under there had aged underneath the filler. So we did Gina's lower lid surgery where we took out her bag, built up the emptiness, lasered the surface, and this is what she looks like about five days later. Most people honestly take a week, a week or so, to look this good after lower lid surgery, but Gina's special. So you can see her bag is gone, her dark circle is gone, the skin is much healthier, a little bit of laser has yet to peel right here, and she's got a little bit of bruise right here. So when can the average person expect to look like this? I would say seven days, maybe ten, if you're an easy bruiser. Here is her final result two weeks after surgery. Um, there's still a little bit of pinkness left from the laser. But again, if you contrast where she started to where she is two weeks later, and know that this is a result that will last for years and years and years because it's all done with living tissue, in the office 40 minutes, sedation, no scars, I think that's a really valuable thing. Last thing I'll mention to you is we do this for a lot of young people and we do this for a lot of people of color because this particular procedure, again, is scarless. There's no worry about keloids. There's no worry about uh, silver incision lines. And the results, again, last many, many years. So even people in their 20s sometimes have fat bags that we need to treat because, again, she is not a good tear trough filler candidate. There's too much of a bag. She didn't need to be lasered because her skin is beautiful. And in most darker skin patients, we don't need to laser. So I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions about under eye surgery, um, lower lid treatment of fat bags, wrinkles, dark circles, on a permanent basis, shoot them below. Thank you so much.